Welcome to this video on configuring your OBS studio for conducting your live classes. Now the first step to get started with your OBS studio is to download it from the obsproject.com website. Go here and download it for your respective OS. I'm going to download my Windows operating system OBS. I'm going to click it here. Now the system will automatically download the OBS studio based on my version. So once the download is complete, we will start to install the OBS. So as you can see, the OBS Studio has been successfully downloaded. So now the next step is to install the OBS Studio. For that, double click on this. Go ahead and give a yes. Now the setup box will open. Now we go and give a next. Accept all this and install it in the respective destination folder. Now you can choose to install it in any of the drives, not just C drive, you can go ahead and install it in the E or in the F drive. So once the installation is getting done, once it is complete, we can go ahead and start to configure the OBS. Yeah, so great. So now we have installed the OBS. Now let's go ahead and see how to configure the OBS. Open the OBS studio after installing it. And here, you go straight into the settings and in settings I'll show you the key options that you need to run your live classes smoothly. So the first one in general tab we won't make any change. In the second one in the stream tab you go straight here and you change the service to custom. Here you will have to give the server and the stream key. You can get these keys from your admin dashboard within the live classes. So you can copy it when you start your live class, you will get the server and the stream keys. The next one is the output tab. So here you will change this option into advanced and you will go into the stream. And in the streaming, you will uncheck this N4 streaming option and you will change this output to 960 by 540. Now this output is based upon your bandwidth speed of your internet. If your internet speed is good, like if you have a very high internet speed, say more than 10 Mbps, then you can go ahead and select the highest resolution. If not, you can select this resolution. This will be perfect for you. And the next one is the bit rate. So the bit rate, you can keep it instead of 2500, you need to keep as 1500. Once you do that, you click apply for the changes to be applied. You won't make any changes in the audio section. So we will leave it as such. Then next portion, we'll go to the video section. And here too, we will change the resolution into 1280 into 720. And we will change the output resolution to 960 into 540. So this means the output of your video, that is the video that comes after your streaming, uh, will be in this resolution. Again, based upon your bandwidth, you can change this output. And your FPS value, you can keep it as 30. The last one is your hotkey section. The hotkey section allows you to give allows you to assign specific keys from your keyboard to start and stop the screaming. Based on your preference, you can give your keys. Once you have done all the changes, go ahead and click apply and give OK. So right now we have completed the settings in the OBS. Now we will see how we can present our PPT to our students in a very interactive way something that looks very nice with your logo, with your webcam and all that. Let's see how to do that. So to do that, the first thing is, go to your presentation and put it in full presentation mode. Now, go to your OBS screen and here in sources, you need to add these following things. There are many sources uh, here, but right now for the purpose of your live video, you need only the sources which I am going to show you, which will help you get started. So here are the sources. The first one is you need to add something called as a display capture. So display capture will capture uh, your entire uh, screen that you are currently active. Right now you have a presentation on the back side. That presentation will entirely be covered by this display capture. Uh, you need to do, you, all you need to do is you select the display capture give OK and now what you need to do is right click on this image click transform and give fit to screen 
So with this, you can actually see the entire presentation on the back side. Now, what you need to do? Well, your students need to hear your voice, right? For that, again, go to the plus sign and give the audio input. Give OK and here you can choose your microphone. So we have added the audio and also we have captured the entire screen. Now you need to show your webcam. So how do you do this? Well, you go to the video capture device, give OK and the webcam will automatically pop up with you on the screen. Now give OK and readjust this camera to fit to the size that you really want and drag and drop and place it somewhere on the top so that it doesn't affect the entire presentation at all. Now, what if you have your own logo and you want to show your logo on the screen? Well, you can do that too. You need to again click plus and you need to add an image and give OK. Now, here you go and you select your logo and give OK. Again, readjust the logo. Place it somewhere where your students don't get distracted with. And that's it. So you now have your logo and you now have your webcam and you now can showcase your PPT to your students. Now, all you need to do is in order to see how it looks like for your students, just press on the studio mode. So studio mode will show the presentation as the students will see it. Now, based on this, you now have a complete streaming that is up and ready. Now, all you need to do is you need to go to your admin dashboard and you need to copy the server keys. Like I told you, you go to your settings and paste it in the stream. We also have another video where we explain how to set up your live classes on LearnInst. Don't miss to check it out. This is how your video will be visible to your students. So, what are you waiting for? Sign up today on learners.com and start conducting your live classes. Thanks for watching.